was want to be made. In other words, where prayer was needed. And is prayer needed in our world today? Is prayer needed in St. John's? Is prayer needed in the ministers of this church? Better still, is prayer needed in your life? Amen. So don't put a lid on your prayer. Amen. I once used to put a lid on my prayer. I wouldn't pray to God for the things that I was doing wrong. I would try to give him just the good things. You know, pray just about the good things. But I realized God knew the bad things just as much as he did the good things. So I decided I'm going to pray for praying. I'm going to pray to him for everything. Whatever I, if I was angry, if I was bitter, give God my bitterness. Hello, talk to me now. Give God my bitterness. Amen. And so Paul was where prayer was want to be made, meaning it was needed to be made. Amen. And Jesus even said, man should always do what? And not give up. Some of y'all have given up. Brother Calvin in his prayer said, make us fresh again. Did y'all hear that? Now, I, I like that prayer. Amen. Because I feel fresh. Hallelujah. Yeah, I feel fresh. I don't feel an old bone or no dead bone in my body, in my soul, nowhere. Matter of fact, I have to put brakes on myself sometimes. I get so happy, I feel so good, I fall out and realize I come off the farm and sometimes I have a tendency to be loud. And I don't want to blow the roof off the building. So I had to put the, put the brakes on my own. So I mean, but he said, make us what? Fresh again. No, no, he said, make us what? How many, I, I'm not going to ask you to raise your hand because a whole lot of lies get told in church. Preacher said, if you got to say amen, he went over and ain't got the book. Sometimes people ain't got the Bible. He said, say amen. He goes, amen. Amen. So he was there where prayer was. And he began this church, which was the uh, westernmost point, point of the Roman Empire. Amen. All the churches that he had founded were in North Africa and part of Asia Minor. But this was the first European church, Philippi. And he writes them. This love letter, listen to what he says. To all the saints. Great God Almighty, he ain't cussed out nobody. Huh? All the who? The, the ain'ts and the saints. <laughs> Lord, then we got a lot of ain'ts too, you know. <laughs> but he called them what? Saints. <laughs> to all the saints. In Christ Jesus, which are at Philippi with the bishops and the deacons, and he gave the flame of salutation, grace be unto you, and peace, hallelujah, grant God Almighty, for I tell you, I thank God for the illumination of the Holy Spirit. For when I was a little boy, I could see some things that the elders of the church did, didn't see. But that's what the Holy Ghost does. It opens up your soul to see things that old folk won't all see. That's why I say your young men will dream, dream. The old men will see visions, right? Because the Holy Ghost ain't got no respect of age. No, 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 no. Don't stop holding yourself. Amen. The Holy Ghost renewed. Paul says, I die daily. While the other man what? Perish. The other man does what? Perish, but the inner man is what? Renewed day by day. Brother Red, fresh day by day. Amen. You can't wake up and be thankful unto God and don't pray. Amen. You're fresh in the morning when your soul wakes up. You ain't woke up until your soul wakes up. Amen. Grace be unto peace. Great God Almighty. From God our Father and from the Lord 
Jesus Christ. He says unto them, and I'm making requests with joy. He's making a, making a request of them joy for that. You know, sometimes you scared to ask some people some things. There are some people, I want them to be here for prayer on Friday night. I'm scared to ask them. Yes, I am. Oh, I is, I is, I is. I is. I'm scared to ask them because some of us think that prayer is for everybody else but us. But, amen. But, but the Bible tells us to what? Pray without prayer. Cease it. Amen. With joy for your fellowship in the gospel. From the first day until now. And he said, being confident. Why? Right? First thing, being confident. He is confident based on their walk with God. Amen. That's why I said, when you want certain people to pray for you, you're confident that they are sincere. Hallelujah. And you're confident that they know God. And the part of their sin, you don't call on no dead head, no dry head. No, yeah, you don't call on no dry head to pray for you. Am I right? I know I don't. Because I feel what I ask them to pray for me. They are not going to feel what I feel. You got to feel what other people feel to lift it up to God in prayer. You can't lift what you don't feel. Amen. So he was confident, great God Almighty, of that I walk with God. Are you confident? Now, I, I, I'm confident that some of you all want to be good members. I'm not so confident about being a, being a good disciple, or being a good follower, or being a good servant. Being a good servant, because God's not going to say at the last judgment, well done, thou good and faithful pastor. Thou good and faithful doctor, professor, tutor, or student. Don't care what your title is. There's one title that's paramount and preeminent above every title. And that's the title of servant. Servant. Amen. Great God Almighty, what did that Susia said about Paul and Silas there in Philippi. They were walking behind Paul and Silas and they were, she was making a lot of noise and they, she said these words and she would have a demon in her. But thank God she knew that who they were. She said, these men are servants of the Most High God. Go to the 16th chapter of Acts of the Apostles who show us the way of salvation. Amen. If he was confident of their walk with God. Amen. He was confident of their, uh, their relationship with God. He was confident that they were in the fellowship of the gospel of spreading the, the good news of Jesus Christ to those in trouble. That if you're in trouble, he'll pick you up. He'll turn you around. You fix your feet on solid ground. I ain't talking about what I read. Uh, what I heard, I'm talking about what I experienced. Yeah. Amen. I'm glad somebody said it because I knew where to go look. Yeah. Amen. I went and looked into the prayer corner. I, I let, that's where they were praying in the prayer corner. And I found it in the prayer corner. That he will do what? Pick you up. Turn you around. Amen. Being confident, he said, uh, of this very thing, that he which began a good work in you. Great God Almighty. Amen. And that's where the devil stopped in. What's that in right there? God began a good work. There's a good work when you joined the church. God did it. Come on, talk. You're talking about business, but this is a work that God does. If you give your heart to God, God does it. Through the work of the Holy Spirit, God regenerates, God changes, God converts. It's not of us, it's of God. God makes disciples. Amen. 
He began a good work, the good work of salvation. Amen. Amen. And unfortunately, a lot of people join the church and they think that's enough. And they say, they don't ever, if you never hear them, I'll be honest with you. I, 99% of the people, I never hear them say, I'm a good, I'm a good servant of the so-and-so church. They'll say, I'm a good member. Right? But you can be a member and die and go to hell. Amen. The devil's a member of the church. Don't you know the devil's a member of the church? Amen. Yes, yes. The Neil Wire, that's where he was, as he stood up. Yeah, Zechariah in the book of Zechariah, the devil stood up against him. And then Zechariah said, the, 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 the Satan, the Lord rebuked him. That's where that comes from. From the book of Zechariah. So the devil's a member of the church, right? How do you think he tears it up? If it ain't here, God is a peacemaker. God is about bringing peace. Bringing understanding. So, while well, you join the church, is a good work. When God uh, ignited a spark in your soul, that's God working in your life. Hallelujah. Yeah, man, when you feel uh, burdens off, you feel your burdens down, you feel your burdens lifted, that's not you, that's not intellect, that's not scholarship, that's the Holy Spirit working in your life. That turns your light all the way around, facing your faith toward heaven and not toward down, going down. God does the work of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He began it in you and me. Amen. And that believes to sing that song, He's working in me. You cross that song, He's working in me. Y'all know that song? He's working in me. Y'all ever heard it? He's working on me. How, how does the rest of it go? Hmm? Send by the mail, of course. Yeah, yeah y'all know to remember the words. He's working on me, but at least you remember the phrase. Y'all remember the phrase? He's working on me what? To do what? For me, more than me to... Won't be with me. Amen. This is what you call dialogue. Call and response. The preacher throw it out and the people respond back. Amen. That means we're on the same wavelength. He's working on me for me to be what he wants me to be. You helped the preacher this morning, Cameron. Yes, you did. You did help me. I didn't remember that. Yeah, but I knew it was in my soul. Amen. He's working on me. Amen. And so, and, and, and so you join the church and you think that the devil said, but that's enough. But you know, the first work that God does on us in terms of salvation is the work of prayer in your life. Amen. 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 Prayer. Amen. And, and what he does for the first thing of of, 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 of child does when he's born, he cries. And Dr. Paul says that we are born, we cry, Abba, our Father. Abba, our Father, great God Almighty. Amen. Amen. For, for some reason or another, somehow or another, your soul, your heart reaches out and claims God Almighty in your life that has kept you and brought you to your awareness, brought to you your senses to realize that there's a God somewhere and he is your heavenly father. Amen. And he looks out for you. He loves you. Amen. He looks beyond our faults. I don't know about anybody else in here. But I'm glad he looks beyond my fault and see my need. Yes, he does. He keeps right on blessing me. And I don't care what no devil said. I don't care what the devil does. I don't care how whatever the devil might try to. I'm going to praise his name because... If it wasn't for the law on my side, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be kept. I wouldn't be blessed. I wouldn't be blessed. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be benefited. You know, I wouldn't be kept as I am kept by power divine. Yeah, I know sometimes the devil gets in my life and it gets in my way. 
but he keeps right on working on me. Yeah, man, for me to be what he would have me to be. And I thank God how he has grown me as a preacher of the word of God. When I first started, I couldn't preach beyond the first line on the page. But I tell you, the Holy Ghost will write the word in your heart. And then sometimes you see me writing up here in the pulpit into what the Holy Spirit has given me. I'm not worried about what you're thinking about and whether I've been prepared or not because my wife will tell you that I prepare start on Sunday night. Yeah, man. But sometimes when I'm writing it's what the Holy Spirit, you ought to do the same thing as you sit out there in that pew. As the Holy Spirit come to you, as you get insight and you get, yeah, man, if, if, if you, you get uh, ideas, you ought to have a a, a notepad in your pocket and write them down. Am I right? You ought to keep a spiritual diary. Paul said he had begun a good work. Pray God Almighty. When he saved you, he did not do amen, just an ordinary work. He did a supernatural work. He did a good work. You ought to be there. Didn't you see that, Miss Barbara? Would the Lord save me? Was that a good work? Or was that a faulty work? Was that a shabby work? Even though sometimes we can act shabby and yeah, it looks shabby, but the work that God does is not shabby. We can look shabby, right? That's why people dress up on Sunday to come to the church, because they don't want to look shabby. Amen. They want to look their past, right? Because in a real way, they want to look their best for God. And so he began a, a good work. Amen. He began a good work of prayer in your life. Great God Almighty. I thank God for the work of prayer. Because I remember when I started off, all I could do was ask for what I wanted. I hadn't even got to the point where I would say, thank you, Lord. I'm done and giving thanksgiving, thanksgiving. I hadn't gotten to that point, but I thank God He kept right on, yes, I mean, stretching my life, kept on increasing my the spirit of uh, my soul, my, let my soul grow and let my soul develop. God, yeah, let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. Don't let it stay stagnant. Some of our souls are stagnant. But it ain't God can do it. It's God's work. It ain't a preacher's work. It ain't a deacon's work. The trustees, it's the work of the Holy Ghost in your life. I used to wonder, Sister Dolores, how did you praise God? But I kept on growing. Till I ain't ashamed now. I mean, I'll yell all over my mouth. I don't care who don't like it. I don't care who said them loud, or they can get loud, for the devil keep them all night long. If the devil can keep them all night long for the devil, I can be loud for the Lord. Because the Bible said, make a joy noise. Noise unto the Lord. Oh, ye land. Am I right? Yes, serve the Lord. Yes, with goodness. Enter into his gates. I don't wait to get to the altar. Amen. Amen. When I start out with my day, I give God thanks. I just don't pray for my car. I pray for everybody else's car. What the how stupid that is. I pray for my car and somebody else's car hit me. I pray for the car to keep from getting me hit. Some of us pray only for our own cars. Yes, and so pray for everybody. Pray for everybody. Want everybody to get there safe. Am I right? But God, I'm good. So now, and not only do I do the work of the work of intercession, I do the work of praise. Yes, I don't mind praying to I love to pray. Am I not right? I love to see. I used to wonder how in the world that yes, that our uh, sister, I'll be Johnson, get happy on Sunday morning. But God had grown her. Yes, he had. To where I didn't care what happened on Saturday night. Sometime my husband would come in drunk on Saturday night, but on Sunday morning. She was glad she made it to church one more Sunday. And she will not know that no devil keep her down or hold her back. Or could shut her up. She would get happy. I was, the little boy. 
Amen. And I, and I can feel the light of the Holy Ghost go over that whole church because she had grown in her place. How many of y'all have grown in your prayer life? How many of you yeah, you need to grow into your prayer life? Yeah, man, that, that song, Lord, keep me day by day. Am I right? In a pure and holy way. I want to live. I not only want to live again. I want to live now. I want to live here. Because you can die here. You don't have to leave this world to die. When you die on the inside, you're just as dead as a ghost. But God, you can live here. Amen. Because that's what he does when he does a good work in you. And when you praise him, you praise him for the plan he has for your life. You praise him for the purpose he has for your life. You praise him for the promises. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He began it. Can you say it again? He began in me. Why don't you say that? He began in me. Acknowledge him this morning. Own him, yes. Recognize him. He was at work. Amen. When he began a good work, when you joined the church, and when you said, Lord, save me. How many of y'all said, Lord, save me? I don't know about you. But I asked the Lord to save me. I said, Mama told me you could save, but I'm going to try you for myself. Yeah, the deacon told me you can, you can save. The preacher told me, I want to know for myself. Save me. Hallelujah. And God will hear your cry. Yes, he does. Every other will cry. Yes, he does. Paul said, then he said, now, I gotta move on, but I want to get you something that. Uh -huh. Give me a hymn book. That's all right. That's all right. Article number 11. We turn to the front of it. Turn to the front. And I'm talking about, yeah, the, he'll continue it. That's what he said. Not only does God begin it, he does what? Continue it. Can you say continue? Yeah, he begins it. And he continues it. Amen. Until the day of Jesus Christ. It's, it's right behind that cover. Yes, I'm, I don't think it got any page on it. It ain't no page in there, is it? Page 11? 7 11? I had it the other night. It keeps right on ducking. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, man, don't you ever say you don't need no help. We all need help. Oh, you're looking at discipleship. I'm talking about the, the covenant. Oh, here you go. Yes, I'm take, take your hymn book out your pool. Take your hymn book out your pew. Take your hymn book out. Amen. And that's it. I want to It's on page number, it's on page nine, but it's not number. And you see, the eighth one, it says, church cover. Then turn on the back of it. It says, articles of faith. And we're talking about unfinished God's unfinished work, right? Unfinished being. How many of y'all glad God finished with you? That God is through with you. Is God finished with you yet? That's why we come out of a step training. Because we know that God has an unfinished work. Hallelujah. I'm glad he ain't finished with me. Aren't you glad about it? And, what, and to prove that, uh, we got, when you get born again, that's regeneration, right? And in between, when God continues, that's the word I want you to remember. I said the first word, he be what? Began. Can you say began? began. 
And the second thing, he continues, right? Can you say continues? He not only started it, he still carrying it on. Great God Almighty. He not only started it, he's still working on me. Hallelujah. Am I right? Amen. Working on you. Now, Article 11, Roman number 11, eleven, Acts 11. It said, we believe the scriptures teach that such only are real believers as endure. That not, they're not quibbles. Endure to the end. Amen. That's the doctrine of perseverance. Mean you don't quit. Amen. You don't do what? Give up. Amen. You don't be idle. You work until what? Your day is done. Because Jesus says, I must do what? Work the works of him that did what? Sent me while it is day. Because night cometh when no man, now none of us can finish this work. Amen. I know Paul says, I've finished my course. That was the assignment that God gave him. But the process of that article 11 he is forming us into the likeness of Jesus Christ. He is forming us into the holiness of himself. He is forming us into the perfect stature of the fullness of Christ. That's his work. And we are, and he's continuing, but I thank God, amen, for the article, for the, for the spirit of perseverance. And that song says, I'm pressing on the upward way, upward, upward, new heights. I'm gaining every day, still climbing as I homeward bound. Now you said the word, but I don't know whether you mean it or not. But the, but the words are what? Lord, plant my feet. That's the prayer for this week. And if, if you are sincere that, that way, I declare to you we will have a praying church like you have never witnessed before and you have the baptism of the Holy Spirit like you've never seen before. You'll see the anointing on members and believers like you've never seen before because of it. That's your prayer, Lord. Plant my feet on higher ground. My hope has no desire to stay where doubts arise and fear this may. They're climbing as I homeward bound. Lord, do what? Plant my feet. Amen. I'm, I, 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 I called up like the old slave song. They asked her. She was up in age and they, they, they thought she was getting ready for the grave. But she says, I keep so busy. Great God, man. I'm working for my Jesus. When I'm feeding the poor, I'm working for my Jesus. I'm healing the sick. I'm working for my Jesus. I ain't got time to die. If you love the Lord, then he's real in your life. Amen. You keep right on. New heights I'm climbing every day. Still doing what? Climbing, climbing, climbing. Climbing. Get out of them seats of comfort. And I tell you, God will do a work in you. Yes, he does. he's already done it. He began it. He began it. Are you glad about it? Oh, praise his name this morning. Give him praise and give him thanks for what he began in you. Let him continue it in you this week. Let it work in you this week. Let it work in your heart. Let it work in your life. Let it work in your mind. Let it work in your soul. Let it work all in you. All throughout you. For the glory and the praise of his name. Because he's going to finish it. I can't finish it. It's his work. His work. Amen. God's what? Unfinished work. I'm an unfinished 